Welcome to JD in the Sump Sea. Um, wow. So, boy, we're really starting to move here, getting to the end stuff. Um, yeah, so we're working on the road show right here. Uh, gonna get the actual pieces oiled up here with the brown. Um, the next video will have me weathering that so it actually looks like it came out of the ash wastes, um, which is gonna be quite a bit of a change. Um, you know, when we do the final final videoing. Um, moving quick here again, uh, I figured I'd throw this together because these videos are starting to get really involved. Um, but yeah, this is the standard uh, umber mix with the wipe. And I'll let this dry for about a week. Well, actually with this one, I let it dry for about a week and a half, to be honest, because, you know, life got in the way. So we're doing a little bit of different videoing here. I've got that little uh, second camera mixed up in or uh, down in the corner there for a different angle. Um, by all means, let me know, uh, you know, in the comments, you know, if you like, like that look I've got in this video, I have got a couple of different looks fading in and out. Um, I even took it with a different uh, uh program uh yeah this is in obs and uh the other ones in the actual uh logic pro um so yeah what's going on here is we're highlighting the the uh sump barge um this one wasn't going to have a whole lot of details i wanted it to be pretty dark and gruesome um and what we're going to be doing here is well it's about as close to dry brushing with oils as you can get um i made a few mistakes in here that i'm going to talk about a lot of talking in this video actually um mainly because we're getting down to the nitty gritty here this is why i kind of do some of the stuff that i do um yeah so what's gonna happen here is you see those little dots and this is kind of dry brushing because that paint is very, very, uh, it's right out of the tube. Uh, you can see how I had them all set up on the cardboard there. And what we're going to be doing here is just kind of feathering and mixing it as we go on the um, texture that I have down. Uh, different colors. Um, this is absolutely one of my favorite favorite things about oil paints um you don't need to mix it uh before you apply you can mix it as you go um but yeah this is just different algaes and different colors the first colors i put down um a little earlier were browns and blacks uh the shade oh yeah and uh some magenta uh just to make the transition um and we're feathering all of that in now right here um and you can see on the little thing there i'm doing it wrong and i'm getting frustrated as i'm doing it leaving streaks didn't really know why it was happening uh because i was rushing <laughs> now of course i've sped the footage up and i'm rushing even more in this footage um and it actually does look like i am dry brushing but what this is is really pushing the paint around and in a moment here i'm going to switch up because i wasn't getting very happy with what i was doing here and the whole reason is is because if you see i've choked up on the brush ah here we go now i'm going to if you look the end of the brush is all the way in the palm of my hand um, this is kind of key if you want to make this work. Um, you can't, yeah, here we go. Now I've done it com correctly. Um, and the paint's actually uh, doing what it's supposed to be. What happens is when you choke up on the brush too much, trying to push the oils, most of the oil paint sticks to the dang bristles. It doesn't actually uh, feather like it's supposed to. Um, now, these next shots are going to be pretty much seen on the smaller view there. 
Um, thanks everybody for being patient with me. I still don't think I know what I'm doing very well. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of new things in this video. We've got new cameras. I've got this microphone. Um, you know, I actually tried to do a little bit of a script beforehand here on this. Um, I don't know if it's working or not, but, uh, yeah. So if you look at the top, yeah, she got, well, one, one other thing I've figured out that I need to do is work on lighting. Um, yeah, I'm not very, very pleased, but you know, it, it'll come, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really glad that everybody's being very patient with me. Um, cause the art stuff's easy. Um, I'd have had this done, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, if I wasn't trying to figure out how to film it and, and all that other stuff. But I, uh, with the responses we've been getting um, on Facebook and on, uh, you know, YouTube, um, you know, it looks like it's not a bad decision so far. Um, I know my videos are a little bit, well, Jay's and I's videos are completely different. Um, um, I love his videos and he seems to like mine um, and you guys seem to be rolling with it. So um, yeah, here we go. Now we're doing it right. You can see how it's all feathering in. And what really ends up happening here is this gives you a heck of a lot of control. Um, if you look at the underside of the uh, uh, the walkway there, you'll see where the the, uh, the purples and the blacks were meshing in. Um, this is real, real, real slight effects that you can do. All right, now we're down to the middle, the uh, the little camera here, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go along the rails and everything. And the idea here is that it's supposed to look like, you know, algae and you know, slimes and goos and stuff like that. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot to the actual pieces that I put on. I want to really pump this out, uh, kind of like the boat just came off from the bottom of the sump, mainly because when I put the roadshow stuff up, that's going to be the thing that you're going to be watching more than, um, more than the boat. Um, I have enough terrain here where I, you know, can do things like this, you know, I have like I said, I have two more of these big boats and I have six more of the little ones. Um, and by that, I mean, this one's 30 plus inches and the other ones are 24 plus inches. Um, but uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, we're we're working it here now. This is this is actually pretty good footage here. Um, so we're going to be coming up to where we're switching the camera. Uh, uh, views. Yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, so probably got some of my children running around with the dogs upstairs while I'm trying to do this. Uh, so much for children listening. But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, here we go. We're rolling right through this here. Um, I'm going to come back when we do the camera switch and uh, I'll let you guys keep watching me work here. Okay, here we go. We are getting back to the main wall pieces. And basically, uh, this is just gluing up posters. Um, when I was uh, editing this out, I was actually going to keep most of this out. But I wanted to take an opportunity here to, um, you know, use the microphone a little bit more. Um, 
At some point, I'm going to put my face back on here again, and uh, we'll record a couple of videos with me actually talking to you. Um, not quite ready for that yet. Um, still getting used to all this stuff. But yeah, basically, this is just the beginnings of postering things up. I actually uh, made a decision during this that I'm not going to be doing any more graffitiing. Um, I think it's going to take away a little bit now the one other thing is um these guys have lights on them which is pretty cool um i am uh uh yeah there's a lot of new things going on on this build and for some reason the when i'm using this program it's the autofocus i must not have had that set right um which is not surprising this is the first time i'm using this so um yeah we've got got the cameras placed i think one of my favorite things about this is that as i'm doing this it's really immersive um i can get these cameras right in <laughs> right in the middle here um and uh you guys can be you know it's like we're working in the underhive actually building it which is pretty cool but yeah basically what this is is this is glow in the dark um mod podge that i bought um, which I actually ran out of during this project um, with some uh, wash. You know, I, I like a brown. Um, you can use a black. You can mix the wash, but basically just thin. These are uh, posters that I printed out um, under Hiver Art. Um, I think I got another one, 40K Ham Slam, I think. Um, for these but yeah it's just imperium stuff and you know we'll get this part um the next video is going to be the end um and then i think we'll do a little short where everybody comes back i have all of my tiles all set up and we bring the barge in um i wanted to make sure that we uh you know got this guy in a nice little short one the next one's going to be quite a bit longer um and just a little progress report um thank you guys so much um yeah and this should be the last working one um and then we will get to the end thanks so much guys <laughs>